Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Why don't you guys sit back and enjoy this video? Let's go for a ride. Like, comment, subscribe. Ring the bell. All right. Well, we're not sure if we're going back to trucking. Being home for a couple of weeks, it's getting back to some normalcy. Well, I don't know. Hell yeah, we're going back to trucking. I love trucking. The missus, she likes it, but I love it. So, hell, I can't. I was ready to go back to trucking a week ago. Are we going back to trucking? Someone asked. So now that you got a house and... You know, you felt being home what it's like again. What's your thoughts on going back trucking? Melissa, what's your thoughts on going back trucking? Um, uh, thoughts on it? Yeah, how do you feel about it? Fine, why? I'm just, because I can't wait to get back in that truck. And, you know, I'm sure everyone's going to want to know your theory on getting back in that truck. I know she didn't sound very convincing, did she? <laughs> Yeah, I think getting into a house and being home and some normalcy, I think it's hitting Melissa harder than it's hitting me. Um, hopefully that don't create a problem out there on the road. No, it's just I'm not as money hungry as you. <laughs> Wait a minute. What does it have to do with being money hungry? That's why you want to get back on the road. Hell yeah, I want to get back on the road and make some money because I we... I want to make money too because I want to buy more stuff for the house. There you go. Now we got uh, X yeah, amount of money... X amount of money we got to build up first before we spend anymore because we hemorrhaged money. I don't know if anyone's ever seen them cut a cow's neck and all that blood come out. That's what it was like to my wallet. You cut my wallet's neck and just freaking money just fell out of it for a week and what? A week and a half? No, two weeks because I still got to pay for the damn rental car to get us back to Springfield. Now, for any of you guys who are wondering, David, why are you in Texas and you're renting a car to go back to Springfield? Well, we had our stuff in storage in Springfield. So what I did is I left my truck in Springfield. Now, the original plan was I was thinking I was going to be slick and go, hey, let's get a load to Texas, a solo load. You drive the U-Haul to Texas, wait for me, and I'll get there, get delivered, go drop the truck in Houston. Or actually, no, I would have just dropped it over here in Cleveland at the Loves. Um, just parked it there, being that, uh, um, you know, why not? And uh, uh, we could have got, uh, went ahead, unless I was over in Houston area, then I would have dropped it. But probably would have took it to Cleveland. She would have picked me up in Cleveland. Then we would have got a rental car because we had to buy a car. And then at that point, probably took the truck over to uh, the Houston drop yard. Because I wouldn't want to leave my truck and trailer or truck sitting at a Love's for two weeks. I mean, it's going to just, you know, it's going to get towed. Or Prime's going to get a phone call and they'll be calling me going, hey, man, you can't leave your truck there. They're, they're, they're bitching about it. But anyways, uh, after talking to a couple of friends, they told me quit being cheap and uh, just rent a truck. And you both drive out there and rent a car to come back. That actually probably made more sense because the logistics on getting a load, especially during the winter times of the month when freight's not that great. <clears throat> yeah, it probably would have worked out, but who wanted to chance that? So basically we spent, uh, let's see, we got here Monday night. I believe it was still Monday night, maybe Tuesday. No, no, no. It was Tuesday morning. Um, it was Tuesday morning, like at three, four AM, which was really cool. Might have even been two. I can't remember. But it was really cool because the hotel checked us in early and didn't charge us for that first day, because technically they should have charged us for that day and the other day. We were gonna stay there till uh the house closed. It was closing late, so the house closed on Wednesday instead of uh, uh originally it was supposed to be on the seventeenth. It ended up closing on the twenty fourth. Um, so we thought we'd be here in the house be ours. We'd just go right in, boom, boom, boom. But that didn't work out, so we rented a truck. Um, and we ended up closing on Wednesday, so we stayed Tuesday. Not, uh, Tuesday, we were at the hotel. And then Tuesday night, 
um, um, uh, Wednesday uh, afternoon, we got the keys for the house and moved in. And Wednesday morning, we rented a car, unloaded everything. We're dead. Our bodies are shot. We're old people. We shouldn't be loading and unloading trucks. Um, flower loads, boom. I let you know that I was giving it the one finger salute under this because no way will I do it on a, a touch freight load period. We've been wrecked for the whole two weeks we've been here freaking on aspirins and everything else trying to keep us from creaking so much. But uh, we ended up finding a truck. It took us till Saturday morning. I wanted to do a walk around on the truck, but we were so busy when I realized, oh, let me do a walk around. Now the truck was dirty. It's like, eh, I don't really want to, you know, the outside. I was like, eh, I should have done it. And then I was like, I'm going to do it. And then it was getting dark and my phone don't record very well in the dark. So it's now dropped at the yard. Um, uh, that way, when we come back, we can have a vehicle to drive from the yard home and uh, whatnot. But it's a 2003 Dodge Dakota. It's in pretty good shape. Um, yeah. So that's what we've been doing for the last two weeks. It is Saturday. We are going to a crawfish broil. Yeah. Um, yeah, we are going to a crawfish broil. We got to leave here soon. And uh, yeah, uh, I want to watch. I want to see somebody suck the guts out of the heads on these things. And then after that, we're going to come home, tidy up the house, get packed, get ready to go. And then uh, get on the road early morning, um, Sunday, because uh, we got about a seven-hour drive to my daughter's house in Arkansas. We're going to go there, and we're going to uh, visit for a day. I'm going to beat my grandbaby up. When I say beat her up, I mean with hugs. Um, and I'll punch my daughter a couple of times. What the heck? Um, but yeah, that's where we've been. Remember, we got a Facebook page, uh, David H., Melissa H., husband and wife, trucking across America. And I've got my um, Instagram, which is at David H. 6571. Um, and if you guys were part of either one of those, you kind of would have known what we were doing because I've posted pictures of the truck. I've posted pictures of the house, things like that. We've been uh, uh, throwing them up there. So if you're not joined, go ahead and join. Keep up with us. This is, as you can tell, this page has turned into more of just a vlog of our lives. Um, we kind of just vlog a lot of stuff. Now, I haven't been on because we didn't have sales service very well. Um, I forgot my tripod because I was going to do some, you know, just some shots of me putting curtains up and stuff like that. But I didn't have my tripod. Dummy, I forgot it that in the truck. So we didn't get any of that. But, you know. We got, I did get the curtains up, you know, I had to, uh, and yeah, we're not on, oh, let me just change this, but yeah, we're not totally unpacked, and you know, she's getting, getting things emptied, um, we got ourselves a little electric cooler for transporting stuff from the truck to the, uh, half, because I don't necessarily want to leave mayo and things like that in the truck, um, Sitting there because if something happened and that cooler quit, you lose a lot of food and or, well, we'll try to diminish our food before we come home. Um, but all the condiments and stuff and the things that we don't eat, I wouldn't want them to defrost and then refreeze because something goofy happened. Um, or I really don't want to leave the APU running uh, for a week at a time this way. I can shut the battery by, uh, switch off, shut the APU off. Like right now, it's been sitting at prime. It's going to be two weeks. Monday when we get there, the APU's been turned off and the truck battery switch has been turned off. So that's going to be a good test to see if she uh, lost any battery power and that she starts back up. If she doesn't, we'll get a jump and we'll uh, we'll think about uh, what we're going to do. Now at the yard, if we need a jump, we got the pickup truck to give it a jump, but I don't want to be doing all that nonsense or we get a jump box or something but it shouldn't it shouldn't go dead after a week anyways thanks for watching like comment subscribe you guys know who you are <laughs> if you didn't watch this to the end i'm not gonna hear you say i did in the comments or damn it but anyways yeah leave a comment
let me know that you watched it because, uh, you know, I'm getting jelly. Oops, that's not turning it off. I thought I was on a live. Mm. <laughs>